we are at question 26 now, right? 26, yeah? It says the curve y is equals to x squared minus 4x has a gradient of 2. So I will write dy dx now since they give you the curve. So gradient of 2 means dy dx is equals to 2 at the point P. A, B. Always remember, if there is a curve and there is a dy dx, the dy dx will always rep be represented at a particular point, so you will always have a point. So now, after you've written down all the information, let's tackle the question. Find the values of A and B. So now, just now, the values of A and B was inside the curve. Now, the A and B is the coordinates of the point where the tangent is and the gradient is given to you. So what's the first thing you must be able to think? <laughs> blank, <laughs> right? That's what a lot of students say. Oh, it's blank, you know, whenever I see this question. Okay, dy dx is 2, right? So you can dy dx this straight away. Am I right? You can dy dx this uh, and equate it to 2. You should be able to find the x. So let's do dy dx is 2x minus 4. And 2x minus 4 is equals to 2, so x is equals to 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now x is equals to 3. What does this x represent? It's the point where the dy dx is 2, right? Which is point P, correct or not? So that tells you that A is equals to 3. Yeah, so you have found A as A already. So the moment you have found A, you can easily find B. How are you going to find B? Well, P is 3 and B, right? In order to find B, remember the curve passes through this point and the straight line or the tangent also passes through this point. So in order to find the Y coordinate, I just substitute into the original curve, the original equation. You do not substitute this inside here. You got your 3 from this equation, so you can't put the 3 inside here again. Furthermore, dy dx is the gradient, it's not the y coordinate. The y coordinate will come from this curve, original curve. Alright, so uh, y is equals to x square is 3 square minus 4 times 3, uh, that is 9 minus 12, that's minus 3. So A is 3 and uh, B is negative 3. Alright, so then you can write therefore B would be equals to negative 3. Okay, so now you have done 26A. Right, simple, huh? Uh, 26B. So find the equation of the tangent to the curve at P. So now that you have found point P, point P is actually 3 and negative 3, right? The coordinates. So now that you have the coordinates of point P, you can easily find the equation of tangent. What was the gradient? The gradient is 2 and it passes through a point 3 and negative 3, right? So the answer, y minus y1. y1 is negative 3, right? So become plus 3 equals to m x minus x1 which is a 3 so y is equals to 2x minus 6 minus 3 all right so y would equals to 2x minus 9 this is the equation of the straight line or the tangent that passes through the curve at this point yeah that's it for 26b Okay, let's uh let's go on to question twenty seven. Yeah, another equations of tangent question. Actually, there are lots of it in SPM. Yeah, somehow equations of tangents and normals they are popular question. All right, let's uh oh, it's not twenty six. We are doing twenty seven already. Twenty seven says a tangent to the curve. So always write out the information as what I've taught you. Write out the curve first ax squared plus bx. Okay, so you have a curve. Again, that's a and b. Yeah? The tangent to the curve at the point, uh, to the curve at the point a. So you have a point 1, 6. So the straight line that touches this curve at this point crosses the y-axis. Yeah, so crosses the y-axis. So that means the moment you see, say they say crosses the y-axis, right, will tell you the y-intercept. The line cuts the y-axis, so that means at that point, it is the y-intercept. So the x is always 0, and the y is negative 2. So this is the y-intercept of, uh, of the tangent. The y-intercept of the tangent, yeah, of the straight line. It's not the y-intercept of the curve, yeah? The y-intercept of the straight line of the tangent. Find the values of a and b. Okay, now what is the difference between this question and the previous question? The previous question, you were always given the gradient, remember? Now you got no dy dx. 
you don't have dy dx well you do have so let's assume that there's a curve i'd like you to understand it first yeah let's assume there's a curve okay and let's assume that this point is one and six lah. this is point a okay so the gradient uh, or the tangent that uh, passes through this line the tangent that passes through this point would be this line right so what they're saying is this they're saying that this particular line passes through the point a okay passes through the point a which is one six and it touches or it crosses the y-intercept at zero negative two so somewhere around here it crosses the y-intercept uh, it crosses the y-axis let's just lengthen this and uh, probably you know the the y-intercept is here okay maybe maybe somewhere here okay right so now uh, it crosses the y-intercept at this point so where is your this is negative 0 and negative 2. Okay, I hope you can see it clearly now. Uh, for those of you who cannot imagine it. Alright, now, remember what you have to find. You have to find A and B. Two unknowns means two equations. First equation, you do the same thing. Put the point into this original curve equation, the curve. Put a point in and you get your first equation, yeah? Okay, so let's, uh, let's put it in first. Y is 6. A is unknown, x is 1, so that's A plus B. So you have your first equation. Then you need to form a second equation. And remember, normally our second equation comes from the dy, dx. The point is now, you don't have the gradient. You do have. Can you see now there are two points? Can you find the gradient of this straight line? You can, right? So gradient, gradient, uh, let's write it here. Gradient is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? So 6 minus minus 2 is plus 2 over 1 minus 0 so the gradient is so the gradient is 8 so now you have your dy dx okay dy dx is equals to 8 the dy dx of the uh, curve at this point is equals to 8 All right so let's uh, write out dy dx is equals to now let's dy dx this first that is 2 a x plus b right and 2 a x plus b is equals to 8 so let's just write it there when x is 1 so that means that is 2 a plus b is equals to 8 okay this is your second equation Right, first equation, a plus b is, is 6, 2a plus b is 8, so let's, let's now uh, solve it. Let's make b the subject here. b is equals to 8 minus 2a. I'm going to substitute this inside. Okay, so 6 is equals to a plus 8 minus 2a. So 6 is equals to a plus 8 minus 2a a minus 2a is negative a so it's 8 minus a a is equals to 2 okay so you found your a so now put put a into b so b is equals to 8 minus 2 times 2 so b is equals to 4 so a is 2 and b is 4 and we're done with number 27 all right. Now, in the next question, I'm going to show you question uh, 28. Yeah, in the next video, that is a paper two question. 20 and 29 are both uh, uh, long questions. All right. So, um, I'll see you in the next video.